Today I'm going to be doing um, a full day of me eating. So the time is 12 13. Um, I just woke up like maybe like 20 minutes ago. Um, I was studying for a test the night before, so I didn't get much sleep. So, first thing I'm going to do is weigh myself. I should be about 154. A little bit off, okay. 153.8. I'll probably do it like one or two more times to get like a measure or an accurate measurement. This time it had 153.2. So today on my full day of eating, I'm going to try to get about 3,500 calories in. Um, I have one class today that's like two hours long, so I should be able to do it. A um, little constrained on time, but usually I push into like one in the morning. So I have like about 13 hours to do it. And yeah. Oh, going to Plaza for my first meal today. So I have the pork, beans, corn, rice, and chocolate milk, and some fruit from the dietetic students. Uh, this all adds up to about 1,040 calories for my first meal of the day. It seems kind of high for this, but that's what it says on Z Nutrition, so I'm gonna go with it. So I ate everything here and drank all the chocolate milk. I just have a little bit of like water left, but there's no calories in water. And I can pretty much get that anytime. So I'm going to go to class now and I'll be back in. So I just got out of my food microbiology class and I am going into the market to pick up chocolate milk and some other snacks. So I'm back in my dorm room now. I got Emporium. Um, I got the big Italian, it has 640 calories in it and uh, 36 grams of protein. Then I got the jumbo cookie. So the jumbo cookie has 500 calories and 44 grams of sugar with six grams of protein. So this is a thousand calories right here. And I also, from the market, I have chocolate milk. And then I don't know if I talked about the calculation for this earlier. So if you fill this all the way to the top, it's equal to one of these. I know this isn't chocolate milk, but if you see the chocolate milk at like Emporium or the market, it's equal to one of these. So you can um, do the nutritional value of that or whatever you're drinking. I forgot to mention, here's the time right now. It's four o'clock. So my second like meal or snack is at about four o'clock. So I just finished eating my big Italian. Um, I could not eat the rest of this cookie, it was like a rock. So probably just toss it. Um, instead I had like another cup of chocolate milk. So it's like 60% of this. So it's like 300 calories plus the big Italian, which was like 640. So then plus this. So that was about um, 1300 calories. Maybe, maybe probably a little less. Just so I'm about to go work out. I have Crave is my pre-workout um, snack. It has a lot of simple uh, carbohydrates in it, so it will break down really fast, and I'll be able to use it as energy when I work out. And then I have milk that I'm gonna have along with this. And yeah, the time is 7:19. So I'll be back, or I might do record some parts of my workout, but I'll be back after. Real quick, I wanted to say also, I drank about half of this bottle before I worked out, so 145 for calories, and then I had about, I think, a half or three cups, or three quarters cup, so I'm going to say 85, so 145 plus 85, that's 230, if I'm doing math right, um, yeah, so 230 calories right there also.
so it's 10.57 right now. I'm about to make dinner. I have crispy battered Alaskan pork. There is 250 calories for two, two fillets and nine grams of protein. Um, I have six right here, so if I eat all that, that's 750. I don't know if I'm gonna eat all that. Um, worst thing is worst, I can meal prep it for tomorrow. And then I am about to cook my rice right here. I have long grain white rice. And let me see the nutrition level on it. There is 160 calories and three grams of protein per a quarter cup. I have one full cup. I'm, I'm not, I don't know if I'm gonna eat all of the rice if I eat all of the fish, so. We'll see how much I eat and I'll get back to you when I'm done eating. I also just had this protein shake. It has 160 calories and 30 grams of protein. So it's 1.45 in the morning. I ate all the fish I think like two hours ago or maybe like an hour and a half ago. And I ate half the rice with it. I didn't eat the full rice I usually do. Just wasn't feeling it tonight but I'll save it for tomorrow and I'll eat it for like lunch or something. So I thought I'd weigh my final weight at the end of the day. One fifty-eight. So I gained about four point eight pounds today. So almost about five pounds. And yeah, that's pretty good. We'll see. I'll do like one more measurement to see how much I weigh tomorrow morning, and then I think I'm gonna call it a video, or I might like talk about a few things and then call it a video. So it's 8.11 a.m. right now. I'm gonna do my final weight and then I gotta get to class. 157, hold on. Let me, let me put my phone down too. Okay, this said 156.4 twice without my phone. And then I also have like sweatpants on right now. Um, so I'll probably just take like half a pound off or a pound. So it's like around like 155 probably okay so this is gonna be like kind of a review recap of everything um, so for all of my meals at Mizzou I used um, Zootrition to track everything I have it on my bulletin board and it, I just kind of wanted to talk about it just to like provide like kind of like I guess an awareness of like how you can track your foods your calories just in case you're interested um, I tracked four main things today. I tracked my calories, I tracked my protein, I tracked my sugar, and I tracked my carbs. Um, and my goal was 3,500 calories. And real quick, do you guys think that I reached my goal? So before I say if I got my calories, I'm gonna go over the three other things I covered. Um, the first one was carbs. Um, I had 430 grams of carbs, um, I had 206 grams of sugar, and I had 186 grams of protein. And then finally, for my calories, I had 4,160. So I went over by, yeah, like 600, which isn't, which isn't a problem, that's like, the more the better. And then I did all of my math here. I used, like I said, I used nutrition for it, and I'll probably bring this in to the meeting if anyone wants to take a look at it. I did this during biochem because I was bored out of my mind. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the video. Um, in terms of like feeling different or anything, I don't really feel different when I have like a lot of like sugar or protein or calories. Like the only time I really feel different is if I don't eat enough. Um, in terms of like energy, I feel I feel like I was about the same, maybe even like a little bit more sluggish. I don't, I don't know why you think by eating like that many carbs and like sugars, you think you'd have a lot of energy, but no, I just, I just felt kind of like sluggish the whole day. And um, I usually try to get about 3,500 calories in every day, but um, yeah, usually, I, I think today I haven't had that much to eat, but I'll probably, I'll, I still have like eight hours. So you saw what I can do in like 12. So we'll see what I can do. Anyways, that's all I had. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you have any questions, you can let me know. Thanks.